What's going on to all of my leaders of the old school? Players, coaches, fans, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's your boy Quan and I'm here to bring you the recap in our Fox Sports Fantasy Football League for week three. Alright, so check this out as I give you the rundown on the wins, losses, and where everybody ranks in the league. Alright, so check this out. First game I'm going to talk about Texas Fire went against the King Street Wildcats. Now, the Cats didn't really know what to do because they were kind of surrounded. You know how it is out there on the West Coast in like the dry lands like Arizona when they had those brush fires, wildfires out there and everybody just got to evacuate. Wildcats tried, but they couldn't, you know. So Texas Fire had to take them out, 65-61. So now Wildcats drop down to 1-2. and two. Texas Fire jumps up to 2-1. and one. Now, the A-Town Jags did their thing. They flex all over top flight because top flight couldn't reach elevation, you know what I'm saying, high enough, you know what I'm saying, to get away from the reach of the claws and all that, you know what I mean? So they lost 81 to 52. This was top flight's first loss of the season, you know, so keep tracking them players with a score like 52. You know, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're getting ready to say. I know. The people didn't perform. I know. Everybody was stinking up the NFL this week, so I'm sorry. Hopefully they'll rebound, okay? So, with that win, A-Town Jag jumps up to 2-1. Now, for their first win of the season, Team Ramo did they thing, but unfortunately they did it against me, my team, too hot for TV. And I really didn't want to see that, but it happens, you know what I'm saying? Gotta lose every now and then. So... <clears throat> That that win since it's their first win makes their record one and two, and it just adds another loss in my L column. You know what I'm saying? I'm one and two as well. Okay. Now, next for the Rough Riders, double R baby, they go against what you expect. Okay, and they did they thing on that. You know what I'm saying? Four wheelers and everything, just flexing on them. You know what I'm saying? Ninety eight to thirty seven. Now, what did you expect? Record goes to one and two, and Rough Riders moves on to two and one. Now, for the game of the week, we have with the highest score, Peach Hill Tigers at 117. They dominate Dome Records, who came in with 86 points. So, Dome Records falls to one and two, Peach Hill Tigers move up to two and one. And the rankings as they are right now. We've got, in first place, moving up from second, Rough Riders, flexing on them. Moving up from third place to second place, we got A-Town Jags. In third place, who moved up from seventh, Peach Hill Tigers. Moving up from fifth place to fourth, we got Texas Fire. Dropping to fifth place from first place, we've got Top Flight. Okay? And drop it from 4th place to 6th place, too hot for TV. We've got, moving up from ninth place, Dome Records in 7th place right now. In 8th place, we've got Team Ramon, who jumped up 2 spots from 10th place. Okay? Now, moving down a notch, we have the King Street Wildcats in 9th place, who moved down from 8th place. And in 10th place, with a drop from 6th place, what do you expect? Okay? Now... I hope you all have been paying attention. I know everybody's stunk, you know what I'm saying, in week three. We got like six teams that are on a buy this week. So pay attention to your lineup, okay? Get out there on the waiver wire and get you some subs. Or, hey, if you drafted really nice, just go ahead and look to your bench. You know what I'm saying? Call to the bench. Bring your people in. Take all your starters on by week. Take them out. Put them on the bench. And get out there. Flex on them week four, okay? Until the next time, peace.